Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. So we are in the bar area of my house, you guys. I wasn't sure what to do with this area in the apartment. It's like a little nook. So I was like, oh, let me just turn it into a bar. So that's where I am right now, you guys. I do hope that you like it. Um, and today's video is all about their current feelings for you at this present moment. How do they feel about you? So this is whoever you choose to focus on. And we're going to tap into that person's energy and see what is going on with them emotionally feelings thoughts maybe things that they even want to say to you i'll just tell you whatever comes through from spirit so this is a video for all signs your sign's going to be time stamped in the comments below and then also in the description you guys can feel free to watch for your sun moon and rising signs okay and with whatever comes through from spirit just know where it comes from it is only a place of love and light and i wish you guys all the best in your love life because these are you know romantic messages from spirit and if you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Passion of Heart Tarot. And the reason that I'm telling you guys where I am is because I just moved for those of you that don't know. So anyways, let's get right into it, you guys. We're going to start out with Pisces reading. But before we begin, just want to take a moment. Okay, Pisces, this person in your mind, how do they feel about you? What are their present feelings for you? Sagittarius and Libra energy has come through. Is anyone involved with a Sagittarius or a Libra? There could be cross watchers here, or maybe that's your moon or rising sign. So it's like, I know how much this person thinks about you because you're constantly on their mind. I mean, their feelings for you are so romantic and it just feels like there's an excitement to it. Like as if there's something that's growing and blossoming between us. So if you guys have been casual, I think you need to know that this person's feelings for you maybe are a lot deeper than they're letting on. Or maybe they just didn't expect to feel this way because it's almost like something has changed and they don't want things to just be casual between the two of you. There's so much um, sexual energy. There's so much sexual attraction that they feel for you. So it's like all of these feelings combined. And now it's like, I want this to last longer. I want us to go further. So you have someone here who is thinking about what it would be like for the two of you to be more serious about each other. And I wonder how that makes you feel because it feels like it's ca it feels like it's casual and we want to we want it to be something more. Or you have someone who just wants you to look at them in a different light, a light of seriousness. And I think that they also want you to know their intentions towards you, Pisces. Their intention. Okay, so it's like you don't you don't have to fight me. You don't have to run from me. I'm not going to be someone that hurts you. I don't want to hurt you. Because this five of swords is interesting to come through in their energy. It just it just feels like we don't know where we're trying to figure out where we stand with each other. Or moreover, this person wants you to take them more seriously. But I wonder if like the tension between the two of you of like not knowing what it really is makes you guys get defensive with each other or kind of try and like my mind has to be two steps ahead just in case something goes wrong. It's it's a complicated reading for sure because on the one hand, I see how much their feelings are growing for you and how they can't stop thinking about you and how what they really want and their intentions towards you is to have things uh, 
be balanced and equal between the two of you, like an understanding. And if they've, if they've just not let you know, Pisces, how serious they, seriously they want things, they, they want it. That's the thing about it. But then it's like this weird curveball with the five of swords, because that's like about ego. That's like about saving face. So it almost feels like it bounces back and forth. I think this person feels like you do certain things um, to kind of take control of the situation and where things could go. But then I also see how this person feels you do that. But then I, again, I can see how they do that too. I can see how their ego definitely makes them guarded. That's why it feels like we're trying to figure out what this is. And it's important for you to know if this person is like weird with you or funny with you or you feel like things are complicated with them the way that I can see, I'll tell you why. It's because they want more stability. They want they don't want this to be casual. They don't want things to just be physical or sexual or shallow between the two of you. They want to feel like it's anchored like it's centered like it's balanced someone here i feel is even looking for your forgiveness hoping that you'll see them in this different light take them more seriously hoping that uh you'll let them back in because i can see someone that misses you a lot for some for some of them here it is forgiveness for others it's like can we just move past what's hurt us Maybe even mutually feeling like, okay, I, I hurt you. Whatever I did to hurt you, you hurt me. Can we just move forward? Then you have Gemini's energy coming through. So I feel like I'm picking up even on a one big message all together or maybe even little messages depending on which situation you're in. No matter how you look at it, you have someone that can't stop thinking about you and someone that I feel is like wishing and longing for things to just be calm between the two of you. For stability, for consistency. But then I can also see how if you're wondering why this person hasn't come forward fully or taken the risk or been more brave in their approach, it's really because of their ego. And I feel like, you know, no one wants to be made a fool of. This person doesn't want to be made a fool of. And they even, it's mirrored because they feel like you even do certain things uh, from a place of your ego. Certain things, and what I mean by certain things is holding back. Maybe blocking them out not letting things progress, not letting them in, not letting things move forward. So it's definitely a complicated reading for you guys. It, it's not straightforward, this person's feelings. There's many layers to it. So I feel like if you're in a place where they've been very difficult to understand, it's because of the, the emotions that they feel for you. And how with each day, those feelings grow stronger. Doesn't matter how long you've been together or apart. You have someone that feels like they're in a weird place because they don't really know what, what are we, what do we call us. So being in that place, I feel, makes this person protective of their heart. It can make them guarded and it can make them kind of confuse you, I'm sure, Pisces. Okay, that's what's going on with someone right now. That is how they feel about you. Okay, I love you so much, Pisces. That's what I can see going on. Next is Aries. My beautiful Aries. At this moment, how does this person feel about you? Let's see. Sagittarius and Scorpio energy is very strong in your reading. Uh, are any of you thinking of 
a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. It could be moon or rising signs too. Or there could just be cross watchers that could be their presence. So Gemini also. You're so important to this person. And I mean that like they're lost without you. You have someone that is longing to see you, longing to spend time with you. Like there's a real longing in this person's energy for you. You have someone that looks like they miss you. Now, are you guys in separation? I feel like that makes sense if you're in separation because I can see the way they want to come to you, the way that they miss you. But if you're not in separation from this person, it's just letting you know that there's real distance from this person's perspective between the two of you. And, and being in a place like that, it just makes them feel so lost. So either your current person around you now is longing for you, Aries, and I don't say that to make you feel bad, uh, but that's it, you can't you can't escape that energy, or it's someone that you're in separation from that totally misses you, uh, desperately misses you. They really do. It's just like things are so different without you in the picture, or if you guys are not as close as you usually are. It's just things things are so different. And it's a cold place to be. And I really feel like this person doesn't know which move to make next. I know what they want. And that is for everything to be beautiful again between the two of you. I just think they feel very lost right now. And they just don't know what to do. That's the thing. So if you're wondering, well, why haven't they done this? Why haven't they done that? Don't think I'm taking their side when I tell you this. But I think that they don't know what to do. And they want, I know what they want. And that's for, for it to feel like you would say yes if they were to ask. Or that your guard is down and you would embrace me. Like, would you even let me come back in? Are you going to let me back in? Because the way that this person is looking at things with you, Aries, I think they they wish that they had a clearer perspective of your acceptance of them or like you being willing to let them back in. I wonder if you miss this person as much as they miss you because there's no one that can take your place. Like you are it. You're everything to them. Best friend, lover, you're irreplaceable. But it's just like being in this this weird limbo of someone who's longing for you and doesn't know what to do to either fix it or make it right or to get back into your life. But I think what the most important thing for you to take away is just how much this person loves you, truly loves you. I feel from their perspective, I would do anything for you. I, I would do anything. Just steer me in the right direction and I'll do it. I wish you would let me in because it's this weird limbo. I don't know what you're going to say if I ask. I don't know if things are going to change between us. All I know is right now I just feel like I'm excluded and I'm shut out and I miss you so much. And it feels like when things are not right between us, my life is not right. And there's a part of me that's missing. So it's it's a real lost place to be and it's almost like i don't say this to put pressure on you but from this person's perspective i feel like the ball is in your court because they're just waiting for a sign from you they're waiting for a sign of of what to do because i feel like from this person's perspective whatever you want me to do i will do in order to restore us again Okay, Aries, that's what I can see going on. That is how they feel right now. I love you guys so much. Next is Taurus. Okay, Taurus, whoever you're thinking of, let's see how they feel about you right now. What is going on? How does this person feel about you?
Anyone involved with an Aries or an Aquarius or a Leo? Um, wow. Or with the initials B and J. And the fact that this is all major arcana is significant. I mean, just look at that energy coming through. Uh, these initials here. So I wonder if that's um, important to you, those messages that have come through Taurus. You are so beautiful. I mean, wow. This person feels like you are the most beautiful person they've ever seen. They truly do. I think they look at you and feel like everything about you is perfect. I can feel... Um, and I don't say this to be rude towards this person, but it's almost like they feel bad about themselves. That's what it's like, because with the sun in reverse next to the star, I think that this person is doing a really good job of being hard on themselves when it comes to you. Maybe even wondering if I'm enough. Am I enough? Am I good enough? Am I pretty enough? Am I good looking enough? That's what it feels like they're doing. And it, it, I think this person is blown away by you and they feel so deeply for you. And it's just you. And that's it, Taurus. Just, there's just you. There's no other person since you came in. There'll be no other person in the future. They're, currently, their energy is centered on you being the one and the only one. So much to the point where everything else is like they, they have blinders on. This person, I feel, just has a lot of questions about, and it, it's not its not even so much your feelings for them, it's their own personal feelings inside, and I feel like this person has a sadness to them, and even a, an introverted way, or a shy way, or just a place where they feel like they're not enough when they compare themselves to you. And it makes me wonder, why do they do that? Why do they compare themselves to you? So it's a place where they're, I think they're confused. I think that you just um, bring out a lot of emotions, mixed emotions. I don't think they've ever turned around and looked at themselves the way that like since being around you makes them do. You know, I, I will say this. And I say it cautiously. Um, but I wonder, like, is anyone here being too hard on this person? Is anyone, does anyone here, you know, now that the reading has come through, does anyone feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm being too hard on my person, maybe I'm being too judgmental on, too judgmental towards them? Because, uh, or is it just a person who's very uh, sheltered even? Maybe hasn't had that many experiences in love and like this is their first, one and only person or their first big connection because I can just see where it's bringing out so much within them. And the way that they look at you is like you hung the moon. They look at you like you're the most important person in their life. So I wonder if, am I picking up on energies maybe of, um, a parent and child situation you know if you're if this is not romantic energy for you Taurus do they look at you like that is it like um is it a family member because it's it's very powerful for the way that this person looks up to looks up to you but then I feel like when they look in the mirror they feel like they're less than they feel like they're not enough and don't get me wrong I'm not saying that you did anything to make this person feel this way but maybe uh, you don't know or you haven't realized that they are having trouble with their self-esteem like this. I don't blame you for it, but it's just important for you to know that it's like the way that they look at you in such high regard, then the sadness around this person and like the, the I kind of want to say shame because of the way they keep hiding. 
So do you guys not know this, that you have someone that I can see feels like they're not enough for you? And please don't think I'm putting anyone down or like mocking anyone when I say that because I never know what's going to come through from spirit. But it's it's a major reading with all major arcana and just such ups and downs in this person's emotions. I think that they I think that they would like for you to embrace them more, Taurus. If you feel like you want to do that, I know this person would be so happy if you did. I think that they want to feel like they're protected by you more. But then I can also see inside this person and some of the things that they're looking for you to heal that maybe has to come from within for their own, for their own, for their own good, for their own good. It's a very deep reading, much deeper than I expected to see with highs and lows in this person's feelings for you, but then also just highs and lows in the way that they look at themselves. So the way that this person looks at themselves certainly affects the connection. Okay, Taurus, I love you so much. Not what I expected to see, but like I said, I don't know what's going to come through from spirit. And, and you got a very deep reading for this person's emotions. Okay, I love you so much. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with who you're thinking of, right? This person on your mind. Let's see how they feel about you right now. So your energy has come through as well as Pisces and Sagittarius. Is anyone here thinking of one of those signs? There could be cross watchers watching your reading, Gemini, or your moon or rising signs. So I think I'll start um, by saying that this person is in love with you. They love you. They feel like you're a blessing in their life. So even if they haven't told you that they love you, they do, or there's like so much potential from this person's perspective for the two of you to, to be in an amazing place, to make an amazing couple. The Ace of Swords though, shows me that this person doesn't hold back. From their perspective, they've been a, a thousand percent honest. I, I don't see someone who's gonna mince words with you. So that, that's not the easiest thing to hear because I feel like what this person has expressed to you, you can definitely believe it because only from their perspective, it's like I'm saying the truth. I'm saying the truth to you. I've told you the truth. I've been open. So hopefully the two of you are open back and forth with each other and the things that you say. I just think that spirit wants someone to know that what this person has told you is what they really feel, what they've said, they mean it. Not to be too personal or too nosy, but I wonder how things are with you and this person sexually because the Ace of Wands is in reverse. And I feel like that just shows a longing for more from you and with you, Gemini. More, um, you know, paying closer attention to the physical and sexual side of things with this person because maybe they just feel like uh, what's going on between the two of you is not satisfying them. And in that, I feel they want more. That's what it is. It's not like what you do doesn't satisfy them. It does so much to the point where I want it more and I want it more often. I think that they just want more of your attention. But the thing is, is like you, you don't even necessarily, when it comes to this person, have to watch Tarot to see how they feel about you because this person will tell you how they feel about you. And so from their perspective, I have told you how I feel about you. I have told you what I want with you. I have told you what I need and what I want from you. So 
I feel like there's reassuring messages to someone here, uh, letting you know how much this person loves you. And even the moon as their overall energy, that's clarity, that's direction. And I know that this person feels like they've been straightforward and they, they've made it clear what they want, where they want things to go. And it, it just all goes back to the way this person loves you and the way that it just feels like I want to see more from you. I want you to show me more, maybe even take initiative more. You don't have to be afraid um, to take the initiative sexually with this person because that's what they want. And I feel like they're going to embrace you completely and just know how attracted they are to you. I mean, like when it comes, not, you know, but it's true when it comes to, to the attraction, physical, sexual, the chemistry, they feel it's there. I just want more of it. So I think that they want you to open themselves up, to open yourself up to them, I should say. Um, someone here, I feel if you guys are a couple, have you had talks about them wanting children? Because for whatever reason, it's being emphasized to someone here from spirit, the fact that this person wants to have a child, but maybe is thinking like, I want you to get on board with that. I want you to give me a child. So if they've said that to you out and out, just plainly know that it's real and know that that's not really going to go away. It's very much on this person's mind, wanting to conceive, wanting to have children, feeling like the two of you really do make the perfect couple. Or if this is a newer connection, it's just letting you know the way that this person sees there's so much potential. And if things haven't uh, gone on between the two of you physically and sexually, it just lets you know the, what they want, how they feel, and even some of the frustrations that they have uh, and wanting you in that way. But like I said, I feel like this person comes across as very outspoken. They look uh, like they'll be very honest with you, Gemini. So you can take what they say at face value. I don't, this is not a person who's going to like talk in riddles or talk in circles. It's like straight, blunt to the point. This is what I think. This is what I feel. This is what I want. So if they've told you that they love you, and, and even if this is newer and they're already saying things to you, like I'm saying, I, I love you. I want a family with you. I can see us being together. Uh, know that that's real and that's true. Okay, Gemini, that's what's going on. That is how they feel about you right now. I love you guys so much. Next is Cancer. All right, my beautiful Cancers. How does this person feel about you? Okay, let's see what's going on right now, today, as of this moment. How do they feel? Anyone involved with the Pisces? Or maybe there's cross watchers here. Or it could be your moon or a rising sign. Cancer. That's the energy coming through. But the Five of Swords as the overall energy with the Magician and the Page, the Devil in Reverse, Capricorn's energy. This tells a whole story to me right there. Because that Magician and that Page of Cups with the Five of Swords. I think this person may like kind of turn things back around on you. That's what it looks like they're doing. They're kind of looking at this uh, like I'm the one that's making the sacrifices. I think this person looks at this and feels like they put you first no matter what. Uh, they put you first and that's just it. I, I don't know if you agree with that, Cancer, but that's how this person is looking at things. And I think that they have some hard feelings towards you because of the way that they want to feel like you're putting them first 
and they don't. And I know that that's something that frustrates this person. It's what they want. I think they feel like they're much lower on your list of priorities than they put you on their list. So someone trying to flip things around on you, I do wonder that. Um, cause the five of swords is why I talk about the way this person might have hard feelings towards you, especially with the magician and the page of cups. It almost looks like they're fed up with trying to prove themselves to you. This person's e ego is really bruised. I, I wonder like what happened between you and them because I know that they're looking at you and kind of uh, their ego is bruised. I think that they're not going to show you that. I feel like this person makes me wonder how they are, how they treat you. Because I think that they have uh, that. Okay, so... They're looking at themselves like the victim in this, right? Because it's like, I'm the one that makes all the sacrifices. I'm the one that puts you first. And I'm the one that's always having to prove myself to you. So they're looking at you and just, I think they feel like... I just, I just am a little bit leery of this person because it almost feels like they'll be ready to like snap, snap at you. Because their ego is so bruised and they feel like they're a victim and they're the ones that's making all the sacrifices. You know, I'm not saying that they're not. Um, because for someone here watching, that could be exactly how they feel. But then there's like a side to this person I feel can be like they can really cut with their words when they need to. And it's like, why does this person like keep like... Uh, ammo do you know that expression like it's like they they're almost ready to say something that might hurt you there's a bitterness that i feel is coming from this person but then again at the same time their bitterness comes from them feeling like it's lopsided and they're the one that is being hurt and they're the one that's not a priority. So there's a lot of different emotions that's here. Not saying that it's justified. And maybe this person is not even really saying that it's justified. Like, this is the position that I'm, that I'm in. So it definitely feels like you have someone that there's real tension coming from this person when it comes to you, Cancer. And like I said, please don't think I'm taking sides. I never know what's going to come through from spirit, but that's what's going on. The Wheel of Fortune, though, is very interesting, a very interesting message to come through. Because although they have like something that feels very resentful and resentful energy around them, I don't think that they're going to let you go or move on or try to be with anyone else. I think that deep down this person feels like... I'm on the right path, even if it's not the easiest path to be on. So it does make me wonder what are things like with you and this person? And are they nice to you, Cancer? Because I just feel like they definitely have it in them and they to be mean. I feel like this person has, they have it in them to really cut with the words that they say. But then it's like, it comes from a place of just wanting so much more of your attention. The five of swords for their overall energy when it comes to you. I just feel like I need to even warn you about this person. Because there's something about them that I feel like they have a jealous streak. I feel like they have a possessive streak. And because I'm looking into their feelings and emotions and it's just like the ego is clouding everything. But then this person is like, well, I'm the one that's making all the sacrifices. So do you deserve to have the finger being pointed at you? Only you'll know the answer to that. That's very personal. But I'm telling you from this person's perspective, they're pointing the finger at you. You have someone that I feel... Um, has a lot of like bitterness and resentment towards you, but then like want so much more from you and won't let you go. 
very complicated reading cancer just know how much i love you and like i said i don't know what's going to come through but that's what's coming through in someone's energy i wonder what that means to you but know how much i love you all right thank you so much next is leo okay my beautiful leos how do they feel about you what is going on who are you thinking of let's see how does this person feel about you Aquarius's energy has come through, Leo. Is anyone involved with an Aquarius? Could be cross watchers or your moon or rising sign. So there's, it, it just feels like things are turned upside down, turned upside down. I feel like this person is looking at things with you differently, Leo. I think that they feel small and they feel like completely like shut down out completely shut out like anything that they try to present is just immediately shot down they feel shut out and shot down and then it's like this overall energy though of wanting to hold on to you not wanting to let you go not wanting to lose you not wanting you to slip away i think they want to do whatever it'll take to get you to look at them in a different light to get you to let them in again, to open up again, to get us back to that happy place. Because I feel like when things are good between you and this person, you're like their dream. You are their dream person. You still are. You still are. It's just that things feel like there's a lot of tension and anxiety and there's so much fear of the unknown. Um, and I feel like why is this person afraid of you a little bit, Leo? Like, I wonder what did you show to them? Because I feel like they're just extremely intimidated. They're extremely intimidated by you. I mean, with the star coming through. So that energy is deep because it's, it's the way that you're their dream, their wish, and you're so beautiful. And it's like things that they had on their list before you came into the picture you fulfill all that and then you've added new things that this person didn't even know that they wanted but it's like they don't have you it's almost like they lost you it's almost like uh were you guys in a really serious place in a serious relationship maybe engaged or talking about marriage or were things just like going down the path towards something very serious because that's what this four of wands feels like to me especially when you combine it with the uh star card but when it's in reverse with all of this anxiety it's like what i lost what i don't have and the ways that i know there's things i need to prove in order to get it back but i want it back but then you have someone that's almost frozen in their tracks i know that you may want this person to come forward or step up I totally get that, Leo, but I feel like this per this person is in a place where I don't know which direction to go in. I don't know which steps to take because, again, it feels like no matter what I do, I'm, I'm shut out and I'm shot, shot down. So that, of course, makes them feel very, very uncertain, very anxious. Is this your current person, Leo? I only like kind of chuckle because it's like, OMG, if this is your current person, they're super intimidated. They really are. So are you being too hard on someone? I just ask because, because, you know, I, I have to. I just ask because maybe that's, Spirit is telling me to ask and maybe that is for someone to kind of look inside and think, like, well, maybe I'm being too hard on them. Maybe I'm being too harsh with them. Maybe I'm being too cold with them. Because the person on the receiving end of this energy, that's a very cold place to be. So you even have someone, Leo, that feels you're being mean. That feels you're being mean. 
I'm not saying you are, but maybe this person, you know, from their perspective with the way they feel so small, they feel that way. But then they won't let go. And it's like they want to cling on to you tighter than ever. I think that what this person is wishing for and thinking about is just moving past, like moving past what is being held on to for so long. And whatever that is, it's very personal because it could be things that they feel you're holding on to or things that they know they're holding on to that's hindering the connection. But everything in this person's energy, it just feels like, can we restore it? I want to fix it. I don't want to lose you. I think this person feels like you're the best they've ever had and the best that they will ever get. And I just mean that, I mean, it, it just comes from a place of you being their dream person, like head to toe. They feel like you're extremely attractive, extremely beautiful. But they also feel like right now, Leo, you're being mean and you're being cold. But then I know that they take accountability. If you've been wanting them to take accountability, I feel like they are because of the way they feel they need to rise to the occasion. They need to step up. But I feel like I don't say this to gaslight what they feel. But this person does a good job of getting in their own way and getting in their own head. I don't want to call them like overly sensitive because I feel like that's kind of rude. But when you see the Eight of Swords, there is something that is really self-inflicted about the extra worry that this person feels. Because if you look at the energy on the card, what's really standing in this person's way? There's nothing. There's nothing in their way. What's getting in their way is their own head and, and the restrictions that they put on themselves and their own thoughts. So they they bring their they bring themselves to a very anxious place. So it's not I, I wonder if they realize like does this person literally have anxiety because they look very anxious to me? So on the one hand, they're overthinking a lot of things. But then on the other hand, I do wonder if it's time to uh, be a little more tender with this person, Leo. Because with the way that this energy looks right now, you may want them to come forward and step up and approach you again and maybe even make that first move. But with the way that this person looks so intimidated, it's doubtful that they'll do that. It's like doubtful to me. So I, I don't say that to take sides, but I do wonder, Leo, is it time for you to be a little softer with this person? You'll know the answer to that because you'll know if you feel like you totally relate to being in this energy, only you will know why you're in that place and why you feel you need to be in that place. And of course, you know, that, that's up to you whether or not you want to let your guard down to let them in. You're everything, Leo. And to that's why this person won't let go of you. And to have you and have things be happy and healthy between the two of you is like having it all. And to for things to be in a place where there's so much anxiety and they feel like you're pushing them away, they feel like you're being really hard on them. It's just this person... Having things not right with you is, is a, a very miserable place to be. And I know what they want right now is to fix things with you. So either you have someone that wants to fix the current connection, or this is someone who wants to come back into your life and put the pieces back together and just fix things with you to rebuild it, to get it back, to get back together. Okay, Leo, that is what's going on. That is how they feel. I love you so much. Next is Virgo. Okay, Virgo, how does this person feel about you right now? Let's see how do they feel.
So you have someone that feels like they're really struggling to keep everything afloat. Like even they're the one that is doing all the work, Virgo. And please don't think I'm taking sides when I tell you that. Sagittarius' energy is here, you guys. Are you thinking of a Sagittarius? Are you involved with a Sagittarius? Or it could be cross watchers or moon or rising energy. So I think you have someone that's not doing a good job of expressing because it just looks like they're constantly trying to make everything look like it's okay. That's why I feel this two of pentacles is there. Because if you just, if you look at it quickly, what do you see? Balance. You see something that's maintained. You see everything's being juggled. But then if you look deeper and you see in the background, look at all those waves and the boats and it's rocky, it's emotional. So I feel like you have someone that's, I mean, obviously they should do a better job of saying this to you, but it's almost like I'm in the middle of the room and I'm screaming and no one even sees how I feel. You have a person that looks, but there's a lot of struggle in their energy. There's a sadness and a loneliness. It makes me wonder personally for this person, is it like some kind of anniversary for them? Is it like a sad memory that's coming back? around again personally maybe that has nothing to do with the connection but maybe in their in their life because that's what i can pick up on but for others of you with this overall energy as the six of cups in reverse there's something in your person getting triggered over and over and over again from the past it's like the past is looming around your person and it's causing them to worry it's causing them to feel lonely the ten of pentacles even i think you have someone here that could be worried about finances worried about like the security, worried about stability. And now, of course, if you guys live together, that, that might make sense. But if you don't, I feel like spirit is letting you know that your person could be having money problems and maybe they're just keeping it all inside, not wanting to show you the fact that they feel worried about their money. Some of them even have family issues that's going on that's affecting the connection. It's... um. They're not saying everything that they're feeling and they're holding back so much. So your person, I see Virgo, is in a place where they look vulnerable. They look needy. They look lonely. Like, and when I say needy, I don't mean that in an insulting way, but it's like this person needs love. They need reassurance. They need TLC. They need affection. They need attention. That's what's going on with them. And, you know, what what's bringing that about is different situations. You know what I mean? For someone, it's their worry about money. For others, it's they're going through a difficult time, like they're being reminded of something, uh, maybe even like the passing of someone again. It's triggering a lot of things for this person. Um, and for others of you, it's, it could be things that have happened between you and them, and it feels like it's happening again. It's their energy is, is all about like the past. Things from the past that they haven't healed from. Things in the past that they haven't gotten over. Or things in the past that they're worried is happening all over again. See, the thing that's tricky about your person's energy, Virgo, is what they show you is like, oh, okay, I'm fine. No, everything's good. But really, it's not. So you might find that it's coming out in other ways, especially if you're watching this to get an understanding of like, well, what's going on with them? Because they're saying that everything is okay, but I feel like something is off. Or they're saying that everything is okay, but like they are showing, uh, maybe even they're being passive aggressive, or maybe they're just shutting down and being quiet, um, you know, keep it to themselves. There's a whole lot I feel is going on in your person's energy, but it's like I put on a brave face, I put on a smile, I get myself dressed, I get myself up and at them, but like so much is going on with me inside. 
I just feel like your person is going through a lot right now, Virgo. And please don't think I'm saying you you drove them to this or you put them in that place. You know, it could just be something personal that they're going through with um like inward or with their family or with their money. I just feel like they're in a place where the best thing to do for them is to just be there if they want to list if they want to open up to just listen or even if you want to pull them a little bit closer even if you want to invite them to talk about something I just feel like the worst thing from this person's perspective that you can do is become distant with them or kind of just like let them go even if they ask for space I think that they really don't want space because there's a loneliness that's here. So I get where they could be sending you some mixed signals, but I feel like it comes from a place of just the hurt and the pain that they're hiding. So you guys will know if there's something that keeps repeating between you and them, something that they keep bringing up or their fears. You'll know because that's personal or it's just spirit wanting you to know, Virgo, what's going on with your person, the things that they could not be telling you. Because I feel like I pick up strongly on maybe someone that's mourning over a loss. You know, maybe this time of year is when something difficult happened for them. So it's like it's triggering all right, so that's what I can see is going on. That's how they feel. It's funny because this is a reading for how they feel about you, but it's also showing you deeper into what's going on with them personally. And I feel like what they want from you is for you to pull them closer and to comfort them. Um, and if you're watching for how they feel about you because they've gone distant, maybe that this person of yours is just going through so much that they can't like, and I'm not saying that it's okay. I'm not saying that it's fair, but maybe they're just going through so much that all of their focus is just on themselves right now. Okay, Virgo. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't expect to see that, but that's what spirit is showing me. Okay, I hope it was helpful. I love you guys so much. That's how they feel. Next is Libra. All right, Libra. So they're feeling for you. Who are you thinking of? Let's see right now. Presently. How does this person feel? So they're thinking about you all the time. I mean, all, all, all day. Well, you know, obviously they have other things to do, but whenever they get a free moment, it's thinking of you. And, you know, this person keeps seeing reminders of you, Libra. Could be your birth date, could be your initials, and like the most random places they keep getting these little reminders of you. So they they can't get you off of their mind and every day this person thinks of you. The thing about it though is the Seven of Cups is coming through in reverse. So it's almost like they there's a lot of worry that's there. I think you have someone that wants you to claim them more as your own. I think you have someone that is just kind of waiting for things to unfold, to blossom between you and them. It almost feels like this person is is wanting you to choose them, wanting you to pick them. I know that they have a lot to offer. They have a lot that they bring to the table because this person looks educated, they're good looking, they're sophisticated, they're well-dressed, they're really polished, they look healthy. So you definitely have a catch. And I think this person sees these things, you know, they have confidence. They know what they bring to the table, 
but it's almost like I, I want you to see me clearly and to choose me. That's what this is like. This person wants you to be more clear with them. Or moreover, it's like, I want you to really see the way that you feel for me. I want you to see, I want you to see me. I want you to acknowledge me. I want you to choose me. So since they want you to choose them, I wonder what's going on here. Are you guys dating around? Are you seeing different people? Are you just figuring things out? Or are you in a relationship and are you neglecting them? You know, don't, don't think I'm judging when I say that, but it's like, I want to be first. I want to be chosen. I want to be number one. That's just what's going on. So they have, they have all of these romantic feelings, all of, all of these imaginings of what could be, all of these fantasies about what could be, but it's like, when is the time going to be right for us? I just think that you have someone who feels things are lopsided between you and them. And what they want from you, Libra, is for you to choose them and to make them a priority. So either your current person wants more from you, you know, or it just feels like you have someone that, since they want you to choose them so much, they want to be in a relationship with you. Like, I want to be yours and I want you to be mine. This person is always thinking of you, like I said at the beginning of your reading. But I think that they kind of, there's times when they don't want to think about you. I feel like there's times when they want to push you out of their mind and out of their memory, but they just can't do it. And it's only because it's lingering. It's something that's lingering. It's something that feels like I don't have clarity and I want clarity. Point blank period, someone here, they want to get back together with you. Like if you're if you're wondering, like if I haven't like made it clear enough, and I say that because that ace of wands is there. I'm sorry, ace of swords. I want you back in my life. I want us to be a couple again. I want us to get back together. Yes, I still love you. I don't know how to turn that off. I can't turn that off. I'm in too deep. There's no not loving you. There's no there's no forgetting about you. So I just wonder what's going on with you currently and is this someone that you're in separation from or is this your current person, Libra? Because what it all boils down to is them wanting to be yours, like your number one, your one and only, like a priority. But then, you know, not knowing and, and the worry and the should I hold on and should I keep my hopes up, but then not knowing how to let go. They can't let go. This person loves you. They do. I just think that they want more clarity, more direction. They want more from you or... It just, if it's a current connection, it feels like it's lopsided. And if you're in separation from this person, I think that they wish you'd reach out. I do. I think that's one of the fantasies that they have because they're, they're always thinking and imagining things between you and them in their mind. And one of the fantasies is maybe they run into you and you guys reconnect or like they just hear from you, you reach out to them. And even if you're like in the space of dating and you guys are in contact regularly, you're dating, I feel like that's still one of the fantasies that they have is to just, um, for you to ask them for an exclusive monogamous relationship. I think this person wants you to ask them to be uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whatever it is. That's what they want. They want you to ask that question. Okay, Libra, that's what's going on. I wonder how that makes you feel and if like you've ever, or if you've ever thought about asking someone that. Or maybe if, if you haven't, they want to ask you that question and for you obviously to say yes. Okay, Libra, that's what I can see going on. That is how they feel about you. I love you guys so much. Next is Scorpio.
Okay, Scorpio, so who are you thinking of? Let's see how this person feels about you right now. So they've been doing a lot of thinking about us, about me and you and what, what we could have together. Virgo's energy is here, Scorpio and Aries. Are you thinking of one of those signs involved with one of those signs? Could be moon or rising sign or there could be cross watchers watching your reading. So I think you have someone, they have so many things that they want to say to you. But then they almost don't know how they're going to be received. You have someone that's been thinking and is currently thinking very deeply about you and the connection. See, you've opened them up and you've made them look inside and see things about themselves that like no one else has been able to do. So it's been an eye opening experience with with you and they've learned lessons that they'll take with them forever. They feel like it's right between you and them. They are thinking about the future, picturing the future, wanting you to be a part of that. Like it centers around you. It does. But then with judgment in reverse, this person just has questions about your feelings for them, how you look at things, what do you want. I think that they truly don't know where they stand with you. So you just have, you have really been a catalyst for introspection for this person, for sure. And I feel like you keep them on their toes because judgment in reverse is like, you know, the not knowing, but I want to know. I'm intrigued. I'm interested. There's so many things that I want to say to you. There's so many things that I want to hear from you. I think normally this person is used to being the center of attention. They're used to getting everything that they want and you've been a challenge for them. You continue to be a challenge for them, but it's something that's made them grow. It's something that's made them learn. So you're, you keep them on their toes and you have helped them, you've given them direction, which is which is ironic. And I don't want to contradict the message because they need to know more about what you want and where they stand with you. But I think this person is sure about what they want with you. They are. It's about us moving forward. It's about us. So is there even an us? I wonder that. Because this almost feels like they want to secure something with you. But if this is your current person and you know you guys have been in a relationship, then the us, you know, that makes more sense and the future is ours. It's all about me and you. So I wonder if there's any big decisions being made between you and someone, Scorpio, because they want to know, like, are you on board with this? So there's a lot of excitement that's here. And, you know, when we're looking at things from a higher perspective like this, you have someone that's really thinking about the bigger things in life, Think, really thinking about the future and what's, what's next, what are we doing, where are we going? So hopefully you're thinking about these things too with them. And I think that's something that they would like to know more of. How do you feel? What do you think? What do you want? I think you have this person in a position that they're not used to being in. Because it just feels like they always get their way. And like I said, you're a challenge for them. Okay, Scorpio, it's just so much energy of what this person wants to express to you and what they want to say to you. 
I think that the, the overall like strongest energy here is the way that they want to know more about your feelings for them, more about you as a person. I think they want to know everything about you and you're coming across as very mysterious, alluring, like you're a challenge, like you're a deep person, you're a spiritual person. I think they feel you bring a very calming energy into their life. You get you have gotten this person to open up and, and just see so much that was right in front of them that, that no one else was able to make them see before. They want you. They choose you. And I just feel like they want to know, uh, do you choose me? And I mean, for the bigger picture, this is about a journey. This is about life. This is about moving forward. What we could have together, what we could make together. It's a very interesting reading to me. Only because I don't see any cups coming through. And that's significant. The cups aren't coming through, which is like this person's heart and like seeing into their heart. So I feel like when the cups aren't coming through, you have not seen all the love that this person can give. And if, if you're wanting them to open up to you more and show you more of what's in their heart, I feel like they'll do that when they feel things are more secure between you and them. It's not, that, it's not that those feelings aren't there. It's just like, maybe when things feel like we're really on the same page, there's so much in my heart that I, that I will give. That's very interesting to me. That's what Spirit is showing me. Okay, Scorpio, that's how they feel right now. I love you so much. Next is Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. So this person on your mind, let's see how they currently feel for you. How do they feel about you right now? Aries energy, Gemini energy has come through. Anyone involved with an Aries or a Gemini? That could be your moon or rising signs, Sagittarius, or there could be cross watchers here. These, these say a lot. Um, were you taking things really seriously with someone? Maybe did, did you, is there an engagement that was here or like taking things to a big place, so to speak, the next steps. Because the lovers in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor, it's almost like someone feels things switched up on me. Like we were moving in a very serious direction and it was all good between us. It was amazing between us. It felt like at one point in time, there was so much potential for a super serious connection. This looks like marriage to me. I mean, the emperor with uh, the ace of pentacles, but in reverse, especially with the lovers in reverse, it's almost like pulling back. So I think this person, like something has definitely changed. And where they are showing up with the queen and page of cups, and then the Ten of Cups, this is very powerful because this person is in love with you, in love with you deeply, but it's just this weird energy of confused about what's going to happen next, feeling like things have taken a 180 turn. And it's hard for me to tell like who made the change, like who switched things up. It's hard for me to tell. It's almost like some of them look at you and feel like you... Things change between us like you pulled back. 
But then when I look into their energy, I see the way that this person is holding back. So is it because they feel you did or who, who did it first? That's what's hard to tell in the reading. And with these lovers here, I wonder what you think, Sagittarius. Like, do you feel this person is the one that switched up on you, pulled away from you, kind of changed on you? It's not like it, the two of you still love each other so much. That's what's crazy about it. But it, it just, it comes across like, I thought we were heading in one direction and then things changed between us. So currently you have someone that, that feels things have changed between you and them. And then I can see the way that they're taking a step back. And the way that right now this person looks like they're not going to wear their heart on their sleeve and just be so open to expressing everything that's in their heart. They look like they're taking a step back and they're on the sidelines now and they want maybe they want to listen more. But then there also feels like there's something guarded about that energy. Not guarded like in a bitter way because the love is still there. They're still very much in love with you. But it just feels like things have changed from this person's perspective. Like all of a sudden we were moving forward and then we, it just like we're, we slow down majorly. It's not like it's at a standstill. It just feels like things have changed so much and it slowed down so much where it was going full speed ahead in a very serious direction. And now it's like we're in two different places. It feels like it's all of a sudden though. It's like one day we were perfect, perfect. And the next day we're not getting each other and we're not seeing eye to eye. And then it just feels like things are not as serious as they were. You have someone that feels you've shown them a different side to yourself. So it does make me wonder, did anything, not to be too nosy, but did anything happen recently between you and this person, Sagittarius, where you did show them a different side to yourself? Maybe they always saw like your serious side, maybe your professional side or like whatever it is. And then, you know, I say that because this page of cups is coming through. It's not like it's made this person love you any less because they, they're still very much in love with you. But their perspective of things have changed and it's like they I can see where they have really pulled back. But it's almost that's why I say it's hard for me to tell because I see the way they've pulled back and then the way that they look at you and feel like you've you've changed. But then I wonder, like, are any of you here watching this thinking like, well, they're the ones that pulled back from me. So, of course, of course, things are going to be different. Just seems like we're in a we're in a weird place where we need to figure things out. That's that's what this person's energy is like, because all is not lost. The love is still there and the potential is still there. There's it's all still there. It's just a matter of them seeing things the way that they were seeing it. It feels like such a, a drastic change that happened so quickly. But from this person's perspective, Sagittarius, I think they feel like you're the one that uh, switched things up on them. So maybe it's just some kind of weird tension that needs to be cleared between you and this person to uh, just like get a better understanding. Was there something that's misinterpreted here between the two of you? From this person's perspective, they just feel like you changed, like you changed and you're different. But then when I look deeper into their heart, I know how much they love you. I know things can turn around for sure. And it feels like they're kind of waiting for things to turn around. They're doing a lot of watching and observing and holding back, I feel, is a way for them to see how you come forward. 
Please don't think I'm taking sides or that I'm saying you've done anything wrong. You know what I mean? But that's what's going on with this person right now, Sagittarius. That's how they feel. That's how they're looking at things. Okay, I love you guys so much. Next is Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, how do they feel about you? What's going on? Let's look and see into this person's current, present emotions. So it's almost like um, thinking about what went on. Like the, the tower is a very kind of explosive energy. So it's like something big that happened between you and this person that I feel drove you apart. The thing about their energy is they're, they're very much still thinking about whatever that was, no matter how long ago it was, they're still thinking about that. But with the five, I'm sorry, the three of swords in reverse, I think that they, they want to take away any pain that they caused you. So, so this moment here, I think it's, I think this person is full of regret, regret for hurting you, regret for for just causing chaos or causing destruction, causing causing something to to really come to a to a head or to a place where it just needs so much repair right now. So just know that that's on their mind. Because if you're wondering, do they feel bad about that? Do they think about that? Do they feel guilty about that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Because it's something that they're thinking about and it's very much in their energy. And then wanting to, I want they want to apologize. They really do. I feel like this person is in a place where their pride and ego is, is they're not going to let that interfere with um, what they owe to you. Because this person looks at it as their responsibility to, to fix the pain that they caused you, to fix the way that they broke your heart. They look at it like that. And I know that's what they want. And I know that they, um, they want to apologize. I don't think they'll let anything like pride or ego get in the way of them making things right. But it's like, they're also looking to be granted an opportunity for whatever reason. Because this person feels like they can't just show up where you are or they can't just call. They can't just reach out. Because this high priestess energy lets me know that they're looking at you and feeling like you're difficult to reach. Not difficult as in, you know, you're giving them a hard time. I think they just look at you as someone... It's almost the way, uh, and I don't mean this in a weird way, but it's almost the way like a child would look at a parent or the way someone would look at an elder that they respect. So that makes me wonder, is this even romantic energy that I'm picking up on Capricorn? Is it? Because for some of you, it could have to do with um, that exact dynamic. Or it's just spirit letting you know how much respect for you this person has and they look at you in, in a light of, I can't just show up, I need an invitation. I think that they don't want to do anything wrong. They don't want to be rude. They don't want to do anything to further push you away because it just feels like I have such limited access to you. You have someone who is just looking back at a lot of things, no matter how long ago it happened, or even if it happened currently, this like explosion between the two of you that I can see. They're looking back at it. I think they feel like they owe you a lot. And I think it 
also hurts this person the ways that they've seen you recover. The ways that they've seen you kind of carry on and still live your life. And, and um, do you know what I mean, Capricorn? I think that they look at you as someone that they're very proud of. Someone that they even look up to. So that's why I wonder, what is the dynamic of this connection? What am I picking up on here? Because it doesn't necessarily feel romantic for some of you. And I don't mean that in a judgmental way, but it just comes across like there's a hierarchy. And this person looks up to you. And they're inspired by you in a lot of ways. So you have someone here who feels like they caused you a lot of pain. And what they want to do is uh, fix it if that's possible. Is that possible? They hope that it's possible. They don't want you to look at them and feel... Like they're just uh, someone that can't be taken seriously. So you need to know that this person cares a lot about how you look at them and what you think of them. And has a lot of respect for you. I don't know what happened between you and them if they did something to disrespect you. But currently when I look into this person's feelings for you today, they have so much respect for you. Like, um, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. Like getting your time is very rare and they wouldn't do anything to waste your time. It's like, if I have this one chance to apologize and make it right, I better make sure that I do it right. Okay, Capricorn. Wow, that's what's going on with someone. I wonder who this person is to you, but that's what Spirit is showing me. Okay, I love you so much. Next is Aquarius, my beautiful Aquarius. Last but not least, how does this person feel about you? Whoever you're thinking of. Let's ask Spirit to show us right now, today, how does this person feel about you? They can't take their eyes off of you. So you have someone that's watching everything that you do, whether it's um, you catch them staring at you all the time or they're just watching you in low key ways via social media. They're looking at your picture. Aries and Sagittarius this energy is here. Aquarius, are you thinking of one of those signs or it could just be who's watching you thinking of you cross watchers? Maybe your moon or rising sign. So this is almost like you have someone that's looking at you and feeling like I want to. So if it's like the energy feels masculine. So some of you here have a person that's looking at you and feeling like I want to be your man. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's like. Um, and for others of you, it could be someone that wants you to be their man. That That's what it is. Because this person is so attracted to you. I mean, look at all the... I know you can't see it, but there's something here where they feel you're very sexy. They feel like there's a lot of chemistry. And it's just this level of attraction where they're attracted to your good looks. They feel like you're very attractive sexy good looking all of it but then when you see the emperor come through it's two different two different readings depending on how you look at this energy because for some of you here this person is looking at you and feeling like i want to provide for you i want to be your husband i want to take care of you i want you to feel safe with me and for others of you, it's the way you have someone looking at you and wishing that you'd be all that to them. I mean, really, that's what it is. The magician in reverse, I think this person wants you to open up to them more because the queen of swords is the overall energy. Taurus's energy has now come through, you guys. And now the empress is here. It's significant. And then the Sagittarius energy just won't quit. It's so strong. 
with the queen of swords as the overall energy, this person doesn't feel like they fully have you. They don't. I think that they, they want you, but they feel like you haven't really surrendered yourself to me. You haven't really given all of yourself to me. It's not as though this person feels you push them away. It's just like they feel you hold them to such a high standard. And they're going to have to reach that standard in order to like fully get access to you in whatever way you choose to look at that uh, message from spirit because this person is very attracted to you but it's not all about that because there's so much energy here of someone who's looking for a commitment and wanting things to be very serious like you have a person that is thinking so much about marriage husband wife however you want to look at it thinking about the future thinking about monogamy thinking about that commitment wanting all of that but they feel like they don't have you completely. So you're definitely keeping someone on their toes. And I feel like they can't get enough of it. It's a beautiful combination of almost like the beginning stages when you can't stop thinking about someone and you can't keep their eyes off of them because, you know, they're so attracted to you. And then all of the physical, sexual, flirtatious, chemistry, you know, like that chemistry Aquarius, that's what they feel. But then there's another layer to it of seriousness, of commitment, of something that's very traditional from this person's perspective. Feeling like the two of you could be a power couple. And it's like, I want it all. I want it all with you. And I want it now. I can't wait anymore. So you're doing a good job. Like whatever it is that you're doing, keep on doing it, Aquarius, because you just have like... So there's so many layers to this person's emotions for you when it comes to your looks like you have that unlocked they're, they're not looking anywhere else they're only looking at you when it comes to the physical and sexual side of things you have that unlocked they feel like it's it's you and only you they can't get enough of you when it comes to someone who wants to be there for you protect you provide for you like that's how this person is looking at you so it's like you fulfill everything for them and I don't think they mind it, even though I see that they feel they don't fully have you 100%. I think it just makes this person rise to the occasion. I think it makes them step up to the plate. You have someone here who just feels like you have such high standards and it makes them want to be more. It makes them want to be better. So even if you tease them and you do little things, like I'm, I'm sure you show your appreciation, but if you do little things like, um, you know, if you kind of tease them playfully, I think this person really likes that. If you, you know, show your appreciation, but you don't gushing, like you don't go over the top, but you're like still thankful. I think that they keep wanting to see what can I do to bring things to that next level with you. So if you are, um, if you kind of play hard to get with them, even if you are like with this person still playing hard to get in that flirtatious way that you may have Aquarius, I think that this person can't get enough of it. So wow, that's a beautiful reading, you guys. That's what I can see going on. That is how they feel about you right now. Okay, I love you so much, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Share it maybe with someone that you know will like it as well. And what else do I want to say? Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to check out my Patreon, it's a monthly subscription and I'll link it below. My Patreon is where you'll find readings that you won't see over here on YouTube. They're just for my patrons. So if you guys support that, that would be great. Thank you again, Aquarius. I love you so much. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next reading.